Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to my C Sharp tutorial series in which today we are going to learn about uh, checkbox and window forms. So let's start. First I will open Visual Studio and will create a new project by clicking on this file new new project. Now here I will uh, select this window and desktop application window form app. So I will click next and now here I will give the application name as check box demo. Click enter to create the project. Now the project is created and we have this uh, window form here. So I'll come to this tools and drag a checkbox here to this window form. Now I'll copy this and paste it here to make some more checkboxes. Now I will arrange them. And now we will run this form to see if we have these uh, four check boxes on it or not. Now the form is running and we have all the four check boxes on it. Now we will apply some properties to it uh, programmatically as well as from the designer. So I'll close this and I'll come to this uh, first check box and now I will change the text on it and I will call this green uh, and now if I click on this uh, window form you can see that the text changes. Now I will come here and search for name in this property panel and I will change the name as well. So here at the top we have this uh, name and now if I ch change this name to green and now I will change this uh, third checkbox. First I will change the name and I will call this yellow and uh, now yellow and now I will change the text as well so I'll come down and here I will search for text and it is here now I'll also make the this yellow and I will name this uh, as colorless and I will leave this checkbox to as it is. Now if I run this you will see that nothing is happening but the text changes. Now I will apply some properties to this green uh, checkbox programmatically and to this yellow and this checkbox to uh, through designer. So first I will apply some properties uh, to this uh, checkbox too. So I'll come here and uh, first I will change the back color. So I will search for back color and here it is. Now I'll click on this. I'll click on this web and uh, I will uh, search for a color which I like. So I'll click this uh, sign color. Okay, you can see that the back color changes. Now I will click F7 and I will enter the code of this uh, form and here I will 
uh, make changes to this green uh, uh, checkbox as I have named it green so I can access it here by green green dot back color is equal to color dot green semicolon now I can also change the font so I will change the font green dot font is equal to new font and it it takes two parameters where uh, one is uh, uh, font and the second one is uh, font style so the font will be Arial and the size of the font will be 12 semicolon now if I run this you will see that this green the color changes programmatically as well as the font size and the font style as well now I will come to this yellow and I will change the font size uh, and the back color um, from the designer so I will close this form if you want to go to designer to, uh, click shift F7 and you will come to a designer and now I will click on this yellow and first I will search for back color so this is big color and this time I will use this custom you can also yellow is also found here in this uh, uh, web but I want to use custom so I will click this yellow and you can see that the background become yellow now I will change the font size and style so I will search for font so it is here and now I can uh, I will just, uh, select this font style and I will make this italic it is already italic and and the size will be 14 and now I will click OK and you can see that the color changes now this uh, checkbox uh, uh, for we will uh, let it colorless now I will click F7 uh, but before that I will add a button into this uh, so I will click shift F7 come to the designer to toolbox and I will drag a button and now I will change the text on it and the text will be show checked uh, check box and now I will double click on it to create the event now I will programmatically check this green uh, all uh, are the colorless uh, checkbox for I will programmatically check it dot checked is equal to true and now if you, I run it then the colorless uh, checkbox will be checked you can see it here that the colorless is checked now I will come to this uh, this button code and inside I will uh, write F statement if green do uh, checked do what show a message box show
green. Now I will copy this and as I have 4 check boxes so I will paste it 3 times. Now green and then we have check box 2. Check box 2 is checked. So, uh, check box 2 is uh, assigned. So, I will sign and then is yellow. Yellow is checked. So, print yellow and if uh, check box 4 is checked. So, print colorless. Now, if I run this, and if I click the show button, you can see colorless is printed because only colorless is uh, checked. Now, if I close this uh, motor designer and if I make this button a bit big so that all the text is shown on it. Now, if I check this as well as this, you can see green is printed, yellow is printed colorless is printed ok now I will uncheck this colorless and click this checkbox too and uncheck this uh, green as well and if I sign is printed and yellow is printed and if I click ok colorless is unchecked and green is unchecked so they, they are not printed. So that is all for today. Today we have learned about checkbox and how to use checkbox and uh, use very uh, various properties. Uh, on this checkbox. I hope you like the video and if you like this tutorial please like, subscribe and comment and in the next tutorial we will learn about uh, checked list, list box. So stay tuned, uh, keep watching my videos and also share it. Thank you.